name is Anne and welcome to a Toby Knits Vlogmas Day 14. What is a Toby Knits Vlogmas? Well, I'll tell you. You might need to go get a cup of tea though. Um, basically, I talk about crafty stuff. I live in Canada, originally from England, and I have um, a bunch of grandkids now. I'm retired, so yay. So I get to knit which I talk about on Mondays, cross stitch, which I talk about on Wednesdays, and quilt, which I talk about on Fridays, normally. This month, however, you get me every single day, whether you want me or not. <laughs> and I'm talking about whatever I happen to be doing that day, which has been traveling to San Francisco to see my dad. It's been knitting, lots of knitting, because I'm doing a bunch of advents about knitting things. It's been opening advents, which we're going to do in a minute. Um, and I have some quilting to show you. I have not done much cross stitch, unfortunately. That seems to have just kind of like, I don't know, crawled into a little hole for the while. And I had some beautiful cross cr uh, Christmas cross stitches I wanted to get done. But you know, yeah, this they didn't happen. They didn't happen. Then that's okay. That's okay. Because there's always tomorrow. So let's get on with the advents. I have two. I have a knitting one and a quilting one. The knitting one is one I made myself using mixtape minis from Ellie of Craft Coast Magic. Um, she was sending me the monthly mixtape minis. Well, I was buying them, she was sending them to me. Um, and I collected them the whole year for another project. But then I decided, hmm, I'm gonna use them as an advent knit. So today, what I did was I got my husband, I put them all in bags, and then I got my husband to put the numbers on and put them all in different orders, so I had no idea what was coming. So let's see what day 14 is. Oh my goodness, just had a remind you of rhubarb. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, I just love that. It totally reminds me of rhubarb. Um, now she names all of her songs, all of her wool after songs. So let's see what this one's called. Keep on loving you. R E O Speed Wagon, nineteen eighty one. I don't think I remember that. Now this is from the July um, twenty nineteen. 20, I probably need a cup of tea. And I don't have one from the July 2022 mixtape minis. And I, if I remember rightly, I loved the July ones the most so far. Um, but I'm keeping them with the dates and what month they're from because once I put the little bit of the mini into either the advent that I'm knitting or another advent project, what's left over is going to go back to the to the um, triangulum blanket that I'm making and the mitered square blanket. And I've been putting those in the actual order and the cluster or group of colors that they came with for that month. So I can tell, oh, that was the January. Oh, that was the April and so on. So I need to remember once these all get back together, <laughs> which months they were all from. I know, I know, I just make more work for myself. I don't know. And this one is an, um, a box I bought from um, Watergirl Quilts, which is my local quilting store. And this is very tiny and I have no idea what this can be. It's round. I wonder if it's like a lip balm or something. So let's have a look and see. It's Aurifil thread, I think. It's a cotton, 100%. Doesn't actually say if it's Aurifil or not. Made in Italy. Oh, it is, Aurifil. And it's 2250 is probably the number. But it's red. Ooh, I love that. Actually, that would have come in handy. So <clears throat> I have 
bought myself a panel a couple of months ago which had six pretty houses in them and this is one of those pretty houses or sheds I suppose that really they are some of them are cottages some of them are, are houses whatever and what I did was I cut the panels out and then I sewed three borders on which was um, from the same fabric line I just bought like a half a yard of each and my plan was to make four of these for the family one for us one for Andrew and Sean and one for my dad who I met in San Francisco and um I still have two left but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of this to make two extras just in case I might but I don't know um anyway so this is I, I made all four of them up like this and um, one of them I quilted and gave to my dad when I met him in San Francisco. And the other one I'm taking to Sean and Megan's because tomorrow I leave for Nova Scotia. Ah! Um, and so I had to quickly get theirs done. And naturally, and of course, I left it till the last minute. Well, I've been busy with other stuff. But today I managed to finish it. I did some sewing with my friend Bonnie on Zoom. And this is the backing that I picked. And you can see some of the quilting here. And what I did, isn't that pretty? It's a little wall hanging. Here's the tabs he can hang on the wall. And what I did was I free motion quilted all the way around the house and some, the flowers and these flowers. And then I just did this swirly, swirly zigzag all down there. And then, of course, I put the binding on and I actually machined the binding on. Normally, I put it on the front, machine it to the front, fold it to the back and sew by hand on the back. But this time I sewed the binding on. And what I did was I sewed did a stitch in the ditch here so you can hardly see it on that side but on this side it just catches the edge isn't that cool Bonnie said to me to do that I was just gonna sew it by hand she said oh it's quick enough you sew it so I did so thank you Bonnie so um yeah I'm really pleased with it it's come out lovely and I'm just gonna write in pen on the back um um what do you call that pen you know permanent marker yeah yeah uh, I'm gonna write the date and everything on the back and say it's from mommy <laughs> so I think that they'll really like this and enjoy it so that is now ready to go so I can now go upstairs and start packing <laughs> Okay, that's all I got for you today. So I hope you have liked it. It's very short and sweet, but there you go. And I'll see you tomorrow.